what is going on you guys welcome back to another video and to the channel now it has been about a month month and a half two months since i last posted a youtube video for those of you who maybe you know paying attention to when i post it has been a while and i've just been very busy over the last couple months in december it was the holidays and i was working a bit more at my other part-time job in addition to orders for the store i was also caught up with that and then this first half of january i was away on vacation in another state visiting some family so yeah i've been very busy but i'm super excited to get back into making content here i do have some pretty big mods coming for the f30 uh, that i think you guys are going to like i'm going to be making some changes to the car to hopefully finally just complete the look of the car i feel like by now i should have just done everything i've wanted to do to complete everything so yeah i'm super excited to show those to you guys in addition i have some stuff hopefully coming for the e90 as well since i have really have not done anything at all to the e90 but yeah anyway in today's video i have a cool simple little mod i wanted to show you guys that is actually a new product that i just recently added for my store inline6auto.com and i'm going to be installing it on both the f30 and the E90. So yeah, let's get into it here. So this new little mod that I'm gonna be installing on the F30 and E90 is going to be this LED door light projector. It replaces the light that is on the bottom of your doors. Every time you open your door, the light turns on. Uh, it only really is necessary at night. Uh, that way, like you can see when you're getting inside your car, you don't, you know, accidentally hit your foot on the side of the car. So this basically replaces that light with the BMW logo, like I said, or M logo. It is nothing crazy, honestly. It just adds a cool little effect um, that you get to see every time you open your door. Now, from what I can tell, this is a very common little mod since it is very cheap and very, very easy to install. You don't even need any tools to install it, really. You just need your hands and it installs in less than a minute maybe even 30 seconds if you're good at taking things apart. So yeah, as I mentioned, this is a new product that is now available on my store, inline6auto.com. Right now I have the projectors that show the BMW logo and the M logo. Now the ones I have available fit both the F chassis BMW models and the E90 BMW models. So the E90, E92, 93 and all of the E chassis models. In addition, they also fit the F chassis models. So the F30, F32, F36, F22, F80, F82 a bunch of different models uh they're pretty universal so so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to install these and then i'm gonna show you guys how they look uh right now it's daytime as you guys can see uh so i'll show you guys how they look once it is nighttime but for now i'll show you guys how to install them real quick so if we take a look underneath my door here on the bottom side you guys can see there's that right there there is the led light that i was talking about earlier that really you can only see at night, obviously, since it's daytime out right now. Um, so yeah, the projector is going to be replacing this piece here. As you guys can see, it is identical in shape, so it should fit in there exactly the same as this housing with the LED light inside. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove this and then install this piece here. So like I said, you don't need any tools to remove this. You can just use your fingers. So I'll show you here how to remove it. Just basically stick your nail underneath um, the housing here. Just basically pull down, force it down, and it should pop out just like that very easily. And then you can see there's just one little electrical connection here. And then just simply pull it out like that. Very easy. So now you're going to take the LED projector here and just put the connection into the socket just like that. Now, you can't really see it shining that well, but all you guys can see, it's on. The LED light inside there is on. Um, maybe if I can shine my hand on it, you guys can see a bit. Yeah, there you go. You guys can see the M logo on my hand there, so that is what it's going to look like when it's shining on the ground. So yeah, that's all you have to do to install it, and then just simply reinstall the housing into the place there just like that and then that's it super easy only took maybe a minute for me since I'm filming here but 30 seconds for you guys and that is it it is completely installed now obviously you're not gonna see anything right now since it is daytime out 
but once it is nighttime, I'll show you guys what this looks like um, when you open the door and the light is activated. Also, one thing to note here, these will be sold in pairs. So one for the driver's side, the one I just put in there, and then one for the passenger side, which installs exactly the same. So just as easy, another 30 seconds to a minute to install it. Um, so yeah, that is how you install it on the F30. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to install these on the E90, which is a little bit different, but still just as easy. Should only take like 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uncover the E90 here real quick. As you guys can see here, the E90 is very dirty as it has been raining a lot here in California and that car cover can only do so much. So yeah, it is very, very dirty and I definitely need to give it a wash. But anyway, let's go ahead and get inside the car here. So if we take a look underneath the door here, you guys can see the pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, this was actually a halogen bulb initially when I first got the car, but I replaced it with an LED bulb to have this um, LED look and light since I like that better. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let me go ahead and show you guys how to install the LED projectors on the E90. So same thing here, just use your nail to pry out the housing here. And then again, just simply pull out the electrical connection here from the socket, just like that. Now the E90 projectors um, has the socket to match the electrical connection here because it is a different shape than the F30. Um, but it may come with an adapter here that you could use to make sure everything works properly and can connect just in case the socket, I don't know, maybe it has the wrong shape or something. You could still use this, this little wire here, this adapter. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here without the wire, then I'll show you guys uh, how it works with the wire. So here, it's connected and you guys can see uh, it is on. I'll shine it on my hand here so you guys can see. You can see the BMW logo, I think it's uh, upside down, but um, we can flip that. So I'm going to take it off and then I'm going to use the wire here. So the part of the wire with the metal pin sticking out here, if the camera will focus right there, you guys can see it has little pins. This will be inserted into the uh, connector on the car. So just like that, you can go ahead and connect the other end into the projector. And you guys can see it is on exactly the same. And then also I want to show you guys, uh, this is the projector that I installed on the F30. You guys can see that the socket is a different shape than the socket for the E90. It's a little bit wider, but either projector can still work. Um, I'll show you guys here. So even without the wire, or without the, even without this, the F30 projector with the wider socket can still fit on here. I'll show you guys here. As you guys can see, it still works. So it is very universal with these projectors. Um, so that eliminates, you know, any compatibility issues or, you know, socket fitment issues. So all these are pretty universal. So this is the one with the M logo that I installed in the F30, as you guys can see there. So yeah, uh, but for the E90, I'm gonna use the BMW logo since I feel like it's just 328i, so there's really, Kind of unnecessary to put the M logo on there. So here we go, the BMW logo. As you guys can see, it's upside down, but to fix that, just simply when you install it, just flip it this way. This is right side up, and then this is upside down. So yeah, just put it in this way. Reinstall the housing here. And then there you go. As you guys can see, it's still working. Now you may be able to see this one on the ground since there's less light over here, so let me show you guys how it looks. Uh, you actually can't really see it um, since there's still too much light. Um, so yeah, that is how you install... I don't know if you guys can hear, there's a rooster over there that's making a bunch of noise. Uh, for some reason my neighbor over there randomly has just a bunch of chickens and roosters and a bunch of animals. So sorry about that, but anyway... Um, that is how you install these LED projectors on a BMW E90 and then also 
an F30. Now I want to show you guys what these look like at night. So I will get back with you guys once the sun goes down and we get a nice clear look at these LED projectors. All right, so the sun has gone down now and it is completely dark. So now I can show you guys what these LED projector door lights look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the door and as you guys can see, this is what they look like. It's a pretty clean projection of the M logo onto the ground. I honestly think this looks pretty cool. Definitely adds a cool little lighting change and experience whenever you're getting into your car at night. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Every time you open your door, you get a nice little projection on the floor. Let me go ahead and get a car right here. Let me go ahead and get out of the car. So yeah, there is another look at what it looks like with the door open. It is pretty bright and looks really clean, as I said. It's not all blurry or, you know, it doesn't look weird. Looks pretty good. Now, as I've stated before, you know, I'm not really a fan of putting M badges on a non-M car. But since this car already comes with a few M logos, there's actually one right here on the door seal. I really don't think it looks that off since there are already logos on the car. Now, if I were to put this on my 320i, my E90, then it would look kind of like I'm trying to pose as an M when obviously it is not. So yeah, that is why I put the just the BMW logo on the E90. So yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what that looks like on the E90, the BMW logo from the LED projection. All right, so there you guys have it. A nice little look and visual of these new LED door light projections. Now, as I've stated before, these aren't anything crazy. Like I said, these are very cheap and very easy to install. All this is, is just a simple, cool little upgrade, cool little mod that you guys can do to your BMW without spending too much money. And it just adds a cool effect. Um, every time you open your door, you'll see it. So you'll get a very good look at this, you know, some things you buy you don't really see because they're not, you know, in front of you. But with this mod, you'll see it every time you get into your car, at least at night. Uh, by the way, I think this is my first time recording a video at night when it's dark out. So this is a new experience for me. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of these. I feel like some of you guys may think these are pretty tacky and not really cool, just kind of weird. Um, but I think they're pretty cool in my honest opinion and these are very affordable as you guys know mods can get very expensive on these cars These are definitely one of the cheapest uh, products I have available on my store Because I know some of them can get very expensive if any of you guys out there by any chance want to check out these door light projectors They are available on my store at inline6auto.com. I will leave a link in the description as usual uh, directly to my store. So so yeah, thank you to any of you in advance uh, if you guys buy anything from the store So yeah, I think that's gonna wrap up this video here as usual Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content like this Otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next video